want to be a good soccer coach to help children and young soccer players, watch this video and analyze the seven fundamental aspects that can help you improve training processes. Train and study constantly. It can be done officially as seen in the graphic in England, where the course is divided into five levels. Similarly, there are other ways of training such as unofficial courses or training, for example with videos, conferences, seminars, books, interviews with coaches, observing training. Do we have clear objectives? Important to determine what is the final objective of the training process. If it is having fun, spending time, playing the weekend as a hobby, it is not necessary that the training sessions be demanding and with three sessions per week it would be enough. While, if the objective is high performance, in this situation the child or young person, you should train every day to improve performance and your football quality. Sufficient space for exercises and training. Xavi Hernandez, ex-soccer player of Barcelona, affirms, football is an incessant fight for time and space. This determines many decisions, tactics, that the soccer player makes in the development of matches. There should be enough space for work as there is little space decision making and the execution of technical gestures will be difficult. Space on the field is important for soccer players. As seen in the video, one of the great difficulties is that many train in very little space, which makes it more difficult to train adequately. For example, the image above shows that the children are in an optimal space, since they can correctly execute the technical gestures while in the image below, there is very little space for the children to play so it will be more difficult to correct technical executions. Training times. Children have little attention span and concentration. Therefore, the smaller they are, the less the session should last. Please read carefully what Jose Marino says on this topic. Theory and practice the necessary combination. Every training process in any sport must be based on a theory from physiology, anatomy, the relationship of workloads, pedagogy, and others that strengthen and improve the processes of teaching. This theory must be put into practice to draw conclusions, see what exercises are being performed well, what is wrong and from these conclusions plan again for the next microcycle. Methods and exercises, knowing how to select, not all the exercises by Joseph Guardiola nor all of Marino are good. It depends on the level of the soccer player you train. For example, if the level is under a mixed method focused much on the analytical part, the it can help to improve, while if they are advanced, a structured method or tactical periodization would be indicated. Constant evaluation. The coach must evaluate whether the soccer players improve in performance. If this means that the method adapts to the players and must reinforce it, if he sees that the soccer players do not improve, he must seriously rethink and evaluate new strategies or methods to train since the final objective of the training should be to improve the soccer players in physical, technical and tactical aspects.